Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? Hope you are doing great today. Today we are going to talk about central limit theorem for proportion of success. So, at the very beginning, let me clarify. P is the population proportion of success. Population proportion of success. Now, what do I mean by success? Success means the percent or P means the percent of the population that possess a particular characteristic I'm looking for. Such as if I want to find out what proportion of all students at a particular college have laptop computers, then P will be the population proportion of students who have laptop computers. But uh, you know, very difficult to reach the entire population. So we work with a simple random sample drawn from the population of interest and P hat, this is read as P hat, is the sample proportion of success. Again, success means what percent of the sample have the characteristic that I am looking for. In this case, what percent of the sample have laptop computers. So a simple random sample will be drawn from the population of interest and we will find out how many of those from the sample of size n have laptop computers. n is sample size. Remember the sample is a simple random sample. Then the central limit theorem states for population proportion for population proportion P states before I go any farther Please do not quit. Please watch till the end of the video because I'll give you some important tips at the end of this program. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. So the central limit theorem for population proportion states that sampling distribution of P hat distribution of a P hat is bell shaped with mean mu P hat equal to the population proportion and sigma P hat the standard deviation equal to square root of P times 1 minus P over N. So basically the sampling distribution or probability distribution of P hat is bell shaped like this. The point on the horizontal axis where P hat is on the horizontal axis and probability is on the vertical axis. This is probability. The point where the bell shaped distribution it has a peak on the horizontal axis or highest relative frequency. This is the center of the distribution and this is mu p hat, mu, and sigma p hat is the standard deviation of this distribution. And the central limit theorem states that the mean is equal to the population proportion and sigma p hat is given by this formula. Okay. I will uh, stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. At the same time, please also click on the notify button. See you next time. Take care. Have a nice day.